Assalamu alaikum everyone we'll start uh, with a new chapter today that is chapter 7th unemployment in india india is a developing economy and one of the fastest growing economies of the world the problem of unemployment is considered to be the biggest challenge to the development of our country unemployment leads to a waste of human resources long term unemployment results in mass poverty and slow economic development mostly young people face the problem of unemployment young people are a major human resource key agents for social change and a driving force for economic development and technological innovation India has considerable young population and therefore unemployment among youth is the most critical challenge of the 21st century there is an imbalance between employment opportunities and increasing population which has resulted in large scale unemployment so generally unemployed people are involved in unproductive works like gambling and they indulge in anti-social and anti-national activities which hampers the growth of the nation now we'll study the meaning of unemployment what does unemployment in economics really means normally anyone who is not gainfully employed in any productive activity is said to be unemployed however in economics unemployment is to be studied with, with respect to nature working age group demand for and supply of labor and prevailing wage rate if the person falls short in any of the four categories then he or she will be considered as unemployed the rate of economic growth is not fast enough to generate adequate jobs to absorb the expanding labor force therefore unemployment is a situation in which people in the age group of 15 to 59 years are able and willing to work at the prevailing wage rate but unable to get a job so the four factors here important are that one the age group which defines unemployment is 15 to 59 years now among this age group the people are able to work also they are willing to work but they do not have proper job opportunities which is defined as unemployment in economics for a person to be considered employed it is essential that the person should be engaged in work for a minimum number of hours per week so according to national sample survey organization in india a person is considered unemployed if he works for less than 14 hours per week those who work for 15 to 28 hours a week are considered as underemployed and the person working for 8 hours per day is considered employed on a standard basis so there are different definitions or meaning of of unemployment in economics there are various types of unemployment depending on different reasons different categories however we can classify unemployment into two broad categories that is rural unemployment and urban unemployment the unemployment which is found in villages or rural areas is called rural unemployment and the unemployment that are found in urban areas that is in towns and cities of the country is classified as urban unemployment 
we'll see the subcategories involved in each group in the slides to come. As we have seen that rural unemployment is the unemployment which is found in villages or rural areas, it can be further divided into two types. The first one is seasonal unemployment. A large number of people remain unemployed during the slack reason, season or in the off season. Agriculture being a seasonal occupation, farmers have to depend upon monsoon for cultivation. Majority of the labor force in the agricultural sector remain unemployed for nearly 5 to 7 months a year. Seasonal unemployment is also found in industries like tourism, sugar factories, ice factory, fisheries and so on. That is, for peak season people are employed and when there is off season people remain unemployed. So this type of unemployment is called as seasonal unemployment. Another type of rural unemployment is disguised unemployment. It is also known as invisible unemployment. Disguised unemployment is generally found in villages in India. It is a situation in which more people are doing work than actually required. Even if some are withdrawn, production does not suffer. In simple words, it refers to a situation of employment with surplus manpower in which some workers have zero marginal productivity. For example, on a field or on a piece of land, cultivation of certain crops is done. For that, the requirement of the labor force is say three people but because of this disguised unemployment there are several people working on that particular field more than what is actually required and this type of employment is called as disguised unemployment although people are working on the field but their contribution to the final product is negligible or zero or marginal The excessive pressure on land leads to disguised unemployment in rural areas. It is estimated that nearly 20% of the labor force is disguisedly unemployed. Joint family system, lack of alternative job opportunities result in overcrowding in agriculture. And these are the main reasons for disguised unemployment. Now we'll study the types of urban unemployment. Urban unemployment can be further classified into two types that is educated unemployment and industrial unemployment. The first one is educated unemployment. When people are educated and willing to work but do not get jobs is known as educated unemployment. This type of unemployment is found among matriculates, undergraduates, graduates and even postgraduates. Casual approach to education, imbalance between job opportunities and number of youth, preference for white collar jobs, lack of employable skills, lack of awareness about available educational opportunities are the main reasons for unemployment among the educated youth in India. Another type of urban unemployment is industrial unemployment. It refers to unemployment in the industrial sector. The unemployed workers may be skilled or unskilled. This is generally a form of open unemployment. Slow industrial growth, rapid growth of population, lack of training facilities, lack of modern technology, low mobility of labor, are the main reasons for industrial unemployment.
इंडस्ट्रियल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट कैन बी फर्दर क्लासिफाइड इन टू टेक्नोलॉजिकल फ्रिक्शनल साइक्लिकल और स्ट्रक्चरल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट द फर्स्ट वन इज टेक्नोलॉजिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन इंडस्ट्री दे कैन बी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्नोलॉजिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अराइज बिकॉज ऑफ चेंजेस इन टेक्नोलॉजी मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी इज कैपिटल इंटेंसिव एंड रिक्वायर्स लेस लेबरर्स वेन न्यू टेक्निक्स आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर एग्जिस्टिंग वर्कर्स आर डिसप्लेस्ड और रिप्लेस्ड फ्रॉम द जॉब्स ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ प्रॉपर ट्रेनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंप्यूटराइजेशन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रोबोटिक टेक्नोलॉजी हैव ऑल रिजल्टेड इन टेक्नोलॉजिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज फ्रिक्शनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फ्रिक्शनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज कॉज ड्यू टू ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ मशीनरी पावर फेलियर शॉर्टेज ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल स्ट्राइक्स बाय द वर्कर्स सो एनी फ्रिक्शन इन द डे टू डे वर्किंग ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री रिजल्ट इन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट कॉल्ड एज फ्रिक्शनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फ्रिक्शनल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज टेम्पररी इन नेचर साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट साइक्लिकल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ साइक्लिकल फ्लक्चुएशन इन द लेवल ऑफ बिजनेस एक्टिविटी एवरी नेशन इकोनमी पासिस थ्रू फेजेज ऑफ प्रोस्पैरिटी और बून एंड डिप्रेशन ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ डिप्रेशन इफेक्टिव डिमांड फॉल्स विच लीड्स टू अ फॉल इन द प्राइजेज एंड प्रॉफिट्स अर्न बाय द प्रोड्यूसर्स as a result there is a corresponding decline in investment and production of commodities a fall in production leads to a fall in employment as a result workers are thrown out of jobs during the period of depression the current scenario which is going on in the country is a perfect example of cyclical unemployment because of the current pandemic the industries or the economy is facing a depression and because of that people are lo- losing their jobs and this is nothing but the cyclical unemployment there is unemployment caused due to the fluctuation in the economy and the last type of industrial unemployment is structural unemployment This type of unemployment arises due to drastic changes in the economic structure of a country. These changes may affect their supply or demand for factor of production. Structural changes in the economy are caused by changes in government policies, shortage of capital, shifting of industry from one region to another. structural unemployment is a long term phenomenon structural unemployment takes place because of a mismatch between the skills of workers and the jobs that are actually available for example horse carts had been replaced by auto rickshaws there was a change in the structure of the transport which resulted in unemployment or another example could be introduction of computerized typing that resulted in unemployment among the manual typist so these are the four types of industrial unemployment so we have studied the meaning of unemployment and what are what are the different types of unemployment in this particular lecture and that's all for today thank you